This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. We've got Aaron Hemman here from Jam Jam Cards UK sharing, of course, some spice because he never plays anything normal. Uh, we've had a, a few people ask about new ROM profiles. This one's actually a little bit different than the one that featured on the channel for the match, if you guys have watched that. But this is way more spice. It's well worth the wait. Um, let me apologize about any noise in the background. We are actually at locals, so there is a few people here, but hopefully you'll be able to hear everything clearly. So anything you want to say before we get stuck in, or should we just um, get on with it? Just that it's been a while, but obviously we've both been busy, and in other words, you just had a chance to uh, catch up now. So now we're back home at Manus Group. It's time to uh, well, let people in for the spice. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So, uh, I literally play one trap in the Thread Reboot. Uh, it's an OTK deck, so this just helps me OTK. Uh, so I can play through Revolt, I can play through Strike. You know, so, uh, then into the Monsters. Uh, play three new rumble. Uh, self explanatory, you have to play three, it searches the field spell. Uh, next, which is a bit different here, is three golden lord. Uh, it's, it's literally there to out imperial order. Sometimes it gives you a push um, and it helps with the, something in the side deck as well, you'll see in a little uh, in a minute. But mainly, it's there to push through imperial order anti spell uh, or a floodgate. Uh, two lava golem. It was three, but I put something else in the last bit as a bit of a meme which you'll see in a minute and the last not last but you'll see later is just a banker top it's the best going second card um, and then we play three network and two calling um, I think three is too much sometimes I miss the third one but I open it more than I should and it's just not really that great so two is absolutely fine uh, then monster negator so i play three forbidden chalice and uh, three forbidden droplets um this lets me play through boards um stop slip effects damage step shenanigans sometimes you can pump your own um one of your numerons and it becomes like 11k so that is relevant sometimes when punching over big monsters uh, this helps you helps you play through like appalooza uh, if they make like an omen or something in the battle phase and you don't have any back row disruption to just force out the revolt first. Yep. So it's just important. Uh, then three Cosmic Cyclone and three Lightning Storm. Uh, it's a going second deck. So you just want to let them go first, set up their board and try and break it. Uh, sometimes you can't break the board and you just have to go for the next best, which wouldn't be a Henman deck without playing Mystic Mine. Uh, I only play two. Uh, I think three is too much. I don't want to rely on it that much, but sometimes you have to uh, activate the Mystic Mine first before you do other plays. Uh, like you want to terraform in to make sure terraforming goes through. Yeah, but sometimes you want to just go ask them how many cards they've got in the deck. So, uh, if you play against like uh, a lot of the tri brigade decks, literally don't mean any back row removal except for. Um, Imperial Order. So in game one, if you can, if you open this, sometimes you just literally just a flat out win because you can just set Cosmic and set the activate this, and then they win. By the time they get the Imperial Order, you've just blown them away. So that's not they, you know, they're, they're too far behind. Um, dust up, it removes back row. That's what it's there for. Uh, cool by stops hand traps. So if you do need. If they are hand trapping you for whatever reason, uh, this is here. Sometimes as well, it negates effects. Uh, you know, that if <coughs> troublesome cards, you know, draw is sometimes a pain if you need to set up. Um, you know, it's not that great, but it's just great utility. Uh, set rotation is more field spells, and same for terraforming, more field spells. Uh, one for one, one for one literally just adds. Uh, uh, Numeron Wall and Numeron Wall can activate from field if it's the only card to get the field spell. So, again, it's basically another terraforming uh, in that scenario. Um, I play with one MST, um, it's just an extra card. It was like an extra. I'm playing 41 cards, and this was like I just wanted an extra card to change to Imperial Order, so I've gone for this. Uh, mind Control because sometimes the damage reduction effects like Shizuku are a huge pain, so you just want to get them out of the way. 
uh, limit removal, um, I play one purely because sometimes a lot of people are locals now know that I play the deck, so they're trying to be really clever and, and make me go f uh, um, either make me go first or they just pass their turn, thinking that I can't kill them, and then I just go four new runs, tap and limit removal, and they're dead. So that's fine. Um, one one day of peace. Uh, it's for the same reason as their limiter, except sometimes you just can't kill them, so you do whatever you can, and then you play one day of peace. And then the last three cards in my deck are basically a meme for locals because we've been messing about. We play one Spirit Reaper and two Creature Swaps. And now, everyone will think this is probably really random, but if you activate Network and play the four pieces, sometimes, like especially against Salamangri or another deck that has a lot of mon uh, Unchained that can float a lot of their monsters and you can't kill them, uh, even Shadows, they can just make a pot cologne defense and you can't win. And sometimes you just activate. Uh, uh, you, summon, you do the summon the four pieces, you normal summon Spirit Reaper, you activate Creature Swap and you can run all your four pieces through the Creature Swap. Uh, it's also an easy side out uh, once they know you're playing it, but sometimes it was just a meme that we said we would try out. We were playing Marshmallow, um, but we just sort of try out Spirit Reaper, and to be fair it's a bit of a meme. Um, like this deck is a bit of fun really. I know I play a lot of like, high rarity cards, but it is quite a budget friendly deck if you play it like a, to a lower rarity. Yeah, yeah, for Especially, sure. Especially like... Uh, I know that a lot, like you don't this like droplets you don't have to play and you don't have to play lightning storms but obviously this got reprinted and this is going to be reprinted soon in the Brothers of Legend so yeah. you they should be more accessible to like people that don't want to play meta decks and just want to play a bit of uh, budget friendly obviously. there's so much good go second support out so, there though, but, anyway but, but, yeah um, so you know you can play uh, things like Book of Moon but it doesn't work too well with links um, but I always find these are these are pretty much staple for me their staple but you don't if you want to forego them there are other options which you know you can play more you can play twin twisters does exactly the same thing most of the time uh, for this you know you can play in permanence but this has a lot of good shenanigans in about uh, yeah, yeah. so i would definitely uh, say to anybody if they if they can afford to and you know they'll definitely pick up droplets maybe not ultimate rares but definitely with the reprints coming to pick them up uh in forward for any deck not just for this yeah uh, so that's the main deck uh, i'll do the extra first so we play just two each of these little guys and um, we're going to play two of the two of the calling so we only need two of each um, we were playing originally the deck played extravagant so we played three of each but I like having more utility in my extra deck especially as when you see with the side deck uh, then I played in the nightmare package um, this obviously helps with so this is what I was talking about with the golden lord uh, also there's another thing in the side deck um, you can phoenix away to get rid of the uh, imperial order in, in certain scenarios um, you know you can golden if you don't if you've already used the golden lord to try and clear another back for and they haven't killed them you can summon it back the normal summon like a wall or a spirit reaper make this um, sometimes this comes up as well uh, to spin himself away so that your board is over so you can educate them uh, so that's those two uh, the main monsters that you make if you don't kill them are Aphromax and Appaloosa uh, so obviously where we lost Zexor um, you need these now. This is usually the first thing you make because obviously you want the sort It's like pseudo Zexel anyway. It's sort of, but it's not as good. I mean, it gets in permanence anyway, same as Zexel, but yeah, same difference. Um, then play Access Code. Uh, it's not amazing in this deck because, like, you don't use it. But I only found out the other day that you can actually banish yourself from the field. So it yeah. can actually come out, uh, actually works out well sometimes to clear, and then you can actually get a Mystic Nine or even a further um, network later on. And then I uh, play Dragoon and Vert. Uh, this again will be, make more sense when you see the side deck, um, but these are definitely important. And again, this is with the Golden Lord. This gives you a second Golden Lord gives you a second monster a lot of the time with Verte, and then you summon Dragoon, and a lot of times he is literally just a win condition by himself. Uh, then to the side deck, I play two alphas. Uh, accompanied with that is two Bigfoot. Uh, excuse the ultra. The other secrets so to get sold, and one Thunderbird. Um, they work well with each other. Alpha breaks boards. I used to main it, but I sided it. And you can bounce the dangers back with Alpha and use them again. And also, Bigfoot sometimes out Superior Order, which is definitely good, which is why we play these. And then we play the Dragoon package, which is these. Uh, I play 
two fusions because the amount of times that open fusion is ridiculous and I just activate fusion against Ashed and then I've got basically two Garnets in the deck so I played the second one yep. um, and it worked out pretty good. Uh, to accompany this I play one Light Stage, one Candina and one Corobane. Um, this is just a one card Dragoons, this is a one card Dragoons and sometimes this is just a body with Golden Lord or a Danger or even just any of the normal summons to, um, to make Dragoons. So, I mean, this is very important in the side deck. And then the last card is just three twins. This is more back row removal. Uh, twin Twisters just being Twin Twisters sometimes just fantastic. Also works quite well with the dangers because you can go three for, t uh, you know, three for two. So <laughs> that works out nicely. Um, this is often, I just like this as an, as an extra because like I said, a lot of people are just passing the turns, which, and I don't want to wait, necessarily waste uh, like one of my callings. So sometimes I'll just make a Dragoon or even if um, they go first, sometimes Dragoon is just better because because it can, I can't kill them, so I have to make a, you know, a negate or a pop, and it, 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 works, it works reasonably well. I'm still tinkering around the deck, and there's still things that I might change, might test, I might go back to three Lava Golems, um, but again, this works, up, this works nicely if you give them a Lava Golem and some of the and blow it up, just more ways to kill them. Uh, sometimes as well, like during time, they've walled up, or if you get close to time, they've, said they've made a lot, a lot of monsters, you can't kill them with the battle effect, sometimes you just need the going to win. Um, you can play the striker package if you want, but I've preferred not to waste extra deck spots, although you don't have to play access code, so you can, uh, instead of playing uh, access code, you can play Kagari, and then you just play engage and hornet drones, and it gives you an extra space. But that dies a lot to, uh, like, Bell, and a lot of people, uh, they'll side out a lot of the hand traps when they're playing against this deck, because they don't do anything, you know, like, Bell doesn't do anything usually against the main deck, so when they're so when they're siding out, they're like, oh, that's okay then. But uh, yeah, but apart from that, uh, it's a really fun deck. Uh, I wanted to give you the spice because obviously that's what we do. Yep. And uh, yeah, I would definitely, definitely say people should definitely try it out. It's a nice little rogue strategy. Okay, cool. Any other comments before we go? Uh, no, just shout out to the team. Shout out to Jam Jam Cards UK. Obviously, you know, check us out on eBay. Uh, we might be expanding further soon so and obviously we're going to try and make a tour around locals so we're trying to be go to as many locals as we can and meet as many people as we can um, in real life because uh, obviously we've met i've done a lot of transactions with a lot of people over covid so it'd be nice to uh, meet some people finally that we may not have met yet um but definitely you should if you need any singles check us out uh, shout out to rufio obviously for being Rufio and mm. doing all this top quality locals content. Uh, if you do want to see this deck in action, there is me uh, splatting Joe in about 10 minutes video. Oh, I'm sure uh, of that, yeah. A, a, a little while f uh, further back. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, definitely just, I would say now we're back to locals, back to uh, back to real life and out of pandemic. I would say it's definitely something which uh, people should try out this deck. And if they want to try out another deck, hit up the store, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, shout out to Manus Crew in Northampton for always hosting us. Uh, top deck best in. locals. Yeah, there is best locals. Top deck in uh, top deck in, in Bletchley as well. They're really good. Another locals that we work quite closely with. And uh, yeah, there's another locals. Finally, get a locals in Bedford uh, Geek Retreat hopefully soon. So that'll be nice to have a decent place to play in Bedford, which we haven't got at the moment. So we haven't had for a very long time. Oh, yeah, terrible. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> but, yeah, right. no, apart from that, that's all good, man. Cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. I do really appreciate it. Uh, if you're interested in checking out Jam Jam Card UK singles, of course, there is a link in the description. And if you go ahead and use that, you'll get a nice discount on their eBay store. Uh, if you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. And and I'll see you in the next one.